Good morning, it's Monday. Not a bad day, is it? I think we're going to be all right this week, the weather, rain up north, isn't there? Uh, right, we're on this little extension here. Um, I don't think I'll be able to film that much of it because it's a new builder. And I got here this morning and like, you can't just start getting your camera out and posing about, can you? So it's only, I've only been here an hour and a half. Um, got it all set up, had a cat for the damp near. Got the blakes up, the profiles, uh, got the cutter set up and uh, got these boards set up here and ready to load out and uh, yeah I want to crack on, it's all windows that's the trouble um, so we'll carry on and I'll try and get back to you later so you can smell something. yeah weed I can smell weed <laughs> hate it, stink of it well Houston we have a problem <laughs> won't be here tomorrow uh, we've got this done today anyway Boy's going to do that tomorrow, sort that floor out and I'll be back I'll go and have a job tomorrow uh, yeah. Morning, here we are, on my own again. Um, that's what we did the other day. Right, I'm all set up here, all stands, I've loaded out. Uh, what happened? Oh yeah, the floor was messed up, so I couldn't come here to choose. They sorted this floor out yesterday, so I'm back here today on my own. Uh, yesterday, I, I went on another job for the bloke I'm doing this for, a mate of mine. Um, on a school metal frame place uh, and he had the um, I've got these 500 eyeball stands and he uses the 750s and I didn't like them I thought there was I don't know I just thought they were too high they were, I, don't know, I didn't feel comfortable on the shoulder if you know what I mean I get what it's all about because 750 brings you halfway up the lift as such so uh, you know you, you're always the average you're going to be that close to the wall with your muck all the time if you get what I mean in that arc but uh, no I didn't like it and I didn't like the gator balls either he's got them um, they just seemed a bit I don't know a bit flimsy to me I mean do they break I don't know I've um, I've never heard of them breaking they look like you could break them quite easy I mean these are my plastic ones from Sam Paul I mean they're a lot heavier they're solid and we've got the new aluminium ones here from um, Britney Bits I'm going to give them a go today, they're nice and light, they look good. Uh, right, so what do we do here? Um, I'll reach about 16 course overhand, so I'm going to take this corner up, 16 course, and then run it in, and then take the corner right the way up to the top. Um, when I'm working on my own, and there's a chance of rain today, and a lot of people just run this all in in one, there's nothing wrong with that. But I like to use as few balls as possible. Just you know, three o'clock. I want to be clearing up. I don't want to be clearing loads of shit up. Um, and if it rains, I've got to escape quickly. Um, so as long as you're laying bricks, it don't matter, does it? How you do it? Uh, yeah. Right. Let's go and sort some muck out. What do I set this profile up here? Um, it's the brick what's out, not the profile. Uh, it's just easy to pull off with um, Dutch clamps. And I'll just tie that bottom one on a bit of line. So when I finish, I'll just stick stick down there, whack it and pull it up so I don't lose it. All clever stuff, trail. Ooh. Right, knocking this muck up. Um, when I was here Monday, the library or you know, I don't know, one of the staff uh, knocking it up and the muck come out. And oh, you know, but it's just got too much feb in it, or you know, something ain't right, you know, it, it starts going off and it gets goes sort of all crumbly on the board, goes not you know, not nice. And anyway, I came out here, had a look, and they're using this cement. So I said to the guy, I said, you how much feb are you putting in there? And they're just putting a dollop in a bucket of water. I said, look, read the bag, it says cement with added workability. If the sand's good, it don't even need any fed mix. Shouldn't be putting fed mix in it. If you've got a decent bit of sand, which this is, she's all right. Um, first thing I'll do is not a gauge up, no fed mix. If you're using this kind of cement, these in heart cements, and see how it comes out. If it's nice, you don't need. Now I've just knocked this one up by myself. No feb. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that, is it? Don't need them. So yeah, just a little tip. Um, these blocks, we've got these Thermalite blocks. Oh, handsome, I don't know what they're Thermalite or what. 
Now you're supposed to use a weaker mix on them because anyone who's been involved in them um, know that if you use a normal mix for them, you know, sort of five and one, what we're doing, they tend to crack. People say they're shit blocks. They're not shit blocks. They're good blocks. Um, I like them. They're good for bricklayers. They're easy, easy to work with. They're light. Uh, people say you can't render on them. Mine have got a plaster, mate. He renders on them. No problem. That's done for years. It's just knowing how to use them and, uh, and how to work them. But trying to find specification off of these companies, um, what the mix should be, they don't want to tell you. They don't, don't want to seem to assume a liability. So I'm going to ring Hanson's up today just to find out. Um, just to clear this one up. Right, I'll put another gauge in, have a cup of tea, and then we'll start. Got a day in. Um, three o'clock it started raining here, so that's good enough for me. Um, yeah, them aluminium spot balls are right from Ricky Bits, quite like them. Um, yeah, I recommend them. Have a look on his website, it's got all the other stuff and the stands and does a few clamps and all that. And it's all right, good prices as well. Yeah, I did like them. Um, Got a bit of a dilemma though, a bit of bad news. Uh, death on the firm. The uh, transit went in for an MOT today, and it yeah, come out of a death certificate. She's had it um, rotten as a pear. I did weld it up last year, and there's just there's nothing to weld to now, it's just folding the bits. Shame really, because it drives sweet, and there's, there's nothing wrong with it, but other than that, it's rotten. So, what do I do? I don't really want to go out and spend 30 odd grand on a van at my age now. Uh, so I think what I want to do is um, work out this thing. I'll get used to it I suppose, it's a bit small but then I do cart a load of shit about in that transit to be quite honest. Which I don't really need, it's like a <coughs> mobile shed at times, that's the trouble. So, um, yeah, but this is my missus drives this about. She's got a work van as well. But uh, now it's going to be cheap for me to buy her a car. I'll just get a new car for her. And then fork out 30, 34 grand on a new transit. And they're not that good anyway, these new diesels. Every mechanic I talk to slates these new diesels off, says they're rubbish. So, um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. If anyone's got any bright ideas, let me know. Um, I'll slip off and have a pint. I've got to go and pick the transit up. Uh, I'll take the missus with me. So, yeah, very sad day. Whole van, no edit since uh, 2008. So, yeah, it's been a great van actually. Nothing's ever gone wrong with it, just uh, general wear and tear and that. So, yeah, if anyone wants it, it's got a brand new clutch in it last year. So uh, anyone near me needs it for spares or anything, let me know. Right, see you later.
Friday, shit Friday today. No half day Friday, why? It's his fault. Steve the man's fault. I've got a labourer today. And I can't waste him. And it ain't gonna rain. So we're stuck here. Right, over hand work. Um, what I'll do, I'll take it out the comfortable. It's normally about 15, 16 calls. There's no point in uh, struggling anymore. Then we take the block work up the same height. And then we'll bandstand it out. The same height, exactly the same height. And I'll take time on that to get it right. Same height as the uh, block work. So when you stood on your bandstands, you can stand on the wall as well. And obviously not today. We'll be doing that Monday when it's all gone off. Um, that's the easiest way. I don't have no trouble with uh, or problems with overhand work. In fact, my perps are more plumb when I do that. I can see them better. So, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I got hold of Anson yesterday. They sent me an email with their spec for mortar mixes for these blocks. And it's 6 1 and 1 with lime, or 6 and 1 with a plasticizer. And that's the strongest it can be. Otherwise, they say it'll crack. So, you know, 6 and 1, 7 and 1, really, I suppose. So, there. I learnt something new myself. I knew there was a, it had to be a weaker mix, but I've never really looked into it to see what it was. All right, we're going to have a cup of tea in a minute. All right, let me just show you this. I'm pulling this in here. I've got 1800 wind rear. here. Um, I can't put a profile up there. So what I sometimes do, a lot, I know a lot of people do it, is just pin behind the, uh, the fur fix. Um, little lads put a pin in there. I use the... Uh, just one of them slickers, I think they slide behind there easier, that's all, it's easier than using the pin. Uh, yeah, getting loaded out here. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you. So I've got the scaffold up here now, and it's more or less the same height as the... Uh, might be a bit of 2B1 through there or something. And then it's just nice and comfortable to work on. You can you ain't lean over that little bit and you can stand on the block work uh, to run this in. But that'll be Monday when it's gone off.
Well, I'm out of there. Oh, I don't know what a week this was. Nice little job, should have been an easy week really, but I don't know, I just felt like I was up against it all the time. Not getting nothing done. Some of the jobs are like that though, aren't they? Fiddly and that, but... Oh, we've done a bit, a couple of three days, well, probably three or four days next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, I've got to be in another job Thursday, so it's three days. But, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, I'm keeping the van, I'm keeping this one. I'm getting 450 quid scrap for the transit. So I'm going to spend it, get a bit of racking done on this. Um, yeah, that's the only way. I'm going to have to buy the missus a new car. Uh, it's the cheapest way. I ain't spending all that money on a new van, as I said. Uh, well, right. Sorry, I, I ain't really filmed much. This. I've done a few bits, obviously, try to show a few things what I do but um, it's not been easy I haven't had really time to you know set the camera up and do any filming and that because uh, I don't know just be trying to get stuff done but anyway it's a weekend fuck it I'm stuck in a traffic jam now heading to the pub I don't know what's going on here looks like road works normally is anything like this but anyway have a nice weekend everyone enjoy it and uh, let's see what Monday brings Burnham on Crouch in Essex beautiful place Hotel, beautiful boozer. Yeah, very nice. Um, let's have a look at some marine masonry. Now, what clown of an architect would have designed this brickwork with salt water? I mean, this ain't been built that long, is it? And uh, I mean, if he's going to do it, you'd use Staffordshire Blues or Accretons, wouldn't you? But look how the mortars eroded. And it's, so it's not that old, is it? Um, See how that's come away there as well. And I reckon that is because the expansion joint there, and they've got a joint above it, but no expansion joint in the top course, caused it to pop. But um, yeah, I mean, if you're doing a sea wall, it's steel pole sheets or poured concrete, isn't it? This is ridiculous, but looks nice, though. Might get it put in for the job of repointing it. High tide at the moment, spring tide, so it probably don't get no higher than this. Right, I'm gonna finish my pint.